Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got Yamazaki 18, Japanese whiskey. And a hint at the 12 and crazy stuff your kids say. Oh, uh, they say all kinds of stuff. Crazy. Let's test it. Test it. All right, Bruno, what are we doing? We got two different Yamasakis we've got, we've done that. We've done the 12 year just to show you. We do have both the 12 and the 18. Um, We're teasing the, you. the 12 year won all the awards last year. Well, it's the 12 year Sherry Cask Yamazaki won the awards last year. We have not been able to find the Yamazaki locally for quite a while. And then a while back, all of a sudden, there was one bottle yeah. on the shelf at the liquor store. I got it. And this comes up from Texas. This was found by your mom in Texas. Love you, mom. <laughs> thank you. The Yamazaki 18. And Bill, thank so, you. Now, you think Yamazaki was referenced in the movie 1942 with no, Jim Belushi? No, but it was referenced in a movie. I can't remember. And that kind of gave it a lot of cachet. Hmm. I can't remember what the movie was. But the, the whiskey, Yamazaki. Yeah, yeah, somebody mentions about this Japanese whiskey and yes, says Yamazaki oh. and boom, it's off and running. Yep. Um, I can't remember the movie right now, but strange things kids say or yes. your kids say. Which what are we talking henceforth about? are Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Love the Fett, by the way, there's a, uh, they are. a trilogy of Disney movies featuring the Fett. Is there going to be a that? trilogy of the Fett or just yeah. a Fett series or they've said I think it's three films based on what, Boba Fett. Well, what's happened is like with the Avengers, you've got the movies with all the characters combined yes. and then they each have their own movies. You know, Thor, Hulk, Captain America, Iron Man. The same is supposed to happen with Star Wars. You're going to see some individual character based movies. Um, and well, it's a huge rumor, winning strategy for yeah, him. Rumor is Boba Fett is going to have his own mm. well, As he should. If Iron Man gets his own, Boba Fett needs his own. Yeah. IG-88. Mm -hmm. R2-D2. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so. Kids. Anyway, yeah. I brought this up because I said, you know, I can remember. He was. Um, go back to 2004, 2005. I'm in Target with my four or five year old at the time right and the star wars movies were out the new ones sure and he loves star wars i love star wars we're always looking at star wars toys and all of a sudden i hear what the hell <laughs> and, I, and, and he's I look yeah and the, my four-year-old's got a he's reaching he's pulling off of the shelf and he's looking <laughs> and it's a new boba fett figure that he hadn't seen before <laughs> but he literally picked up and he was like what the hell is this and i heard him <laughs> And I turn and I'm like, huh? So that must have been grandpa's but bad influence. At, at four or five, he knows to play it off. Like, oh. hmm, he just ignores me. Yeah, huh. He's like, hmm, looking at this figure. I didn't curse. Yep. <laughs> now, see, my boy and had I was, a similar deal. I just took deal. mental note that I didn't really. Right. My boy had a similar deal, but I have a tendency where I'll say, what the? And then I you never really it. say the thing. Yeah, whether it's F or hell or mm -hmm. S or whatever. And he just, he broke out one of those, what the? And my wife thought he was gonna finish it and was like, ah, what are you doing? I'm like, really, he didn't say anything. All I said yeah. was, what the? It's, it's like the, the, pre the prelude to yeah. the kiss. But he does make what the sound like its own curse word. It's yeah. like, what the? <laughs> now, what my, I always thought my wife always was the worst influence than me. Oh, really? Curses like a sailor. Wow. And she used to tell me that the kids would learn stuff from me, and I can tell you, I never, I never cussed around the kids when they were little. Huh. Now they have, they've heard some cuss words from me since they've gotten older, but when they were little, it wasn't me. And one time, my wife was out shopping with the oldest, with Jackson, and she calls me on the phone, and I answered, and she goes, "You know what your son just said?" I go, "Nope." She goes, he just said the F word. Oh. And I go, he hasn't heard it from me. And she goes, well, who's he heard it from? And I go, probably you, potty mouth. I go, why don't you ask him? So I hear her go, Jackson, where'd you hear that word? And I hear in the background, from mommy. <laughs> and she goes, I'll call you later. Bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, mm. Yeah, yeah, who's mm -hmm. off the hook? Now, speaking of off the hook, I was real surprised with the 18 when it was a screw cap. They, yeah. 
Now, I mean, what? and trust me, I, I, the Japanese know what they're doing. If there should be a cork in here, they'd have it corked. And so. I, I wonder, do they do that because they don't want any other influence of any other wood coming into their the whiskey? They want it. I mean, it's got to taste that, it as it is. It's got that plasticized cardboard seal in there. Yeah, and so, the Yamazaki 12 is the same way. Same it's the way. exact same bottle, the exact yeah. same cap, different color. Right. Um, but but yeah, it threw no me. Cork. I expected a cork. It was a pricey bottle. Um, and the other thing I'm going to tell you is as soon as I open this up, I smell just unscrewing it sherry. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised. I, I hadn't really read up on this. I don't like pre-reading. I like to just almost blind taste. And I did not expect this to be sherried. I mean, I knew nothing about it, but I was... Now, do they say, have they, or does it say, it's, has it been in a sherry cask at all? Well, I can tell you smelling it, it has been. So I don't see anything on there that tells you anything, but I can tell you smelling it that this spent some time in a sherry cask. It's got a great color. So, great color. And uh, on the nose, right off the bat, uh, raisin sherry and and it's a real nice smooth soft wafting of that i've got it's very strong in the fact that you can smell this like you said when you un, when you took the cap off the bottle you could smell it i've got this very strong and you can you can you start to pick it up before your nose even gets to the glass yeah i mean it start to literally smell. i'm over here at this exact table and i brought it over for bruno to try and i'm unscrewing it and i take the cap off and i'm like sherry mm. i mean it was that that nice and and strong uh, i do get a little bit of cinnamon i get a sweetness i get the sherry note sherry notes and a nut um, of some sort in there as well. Hmm. I get a sherry pop right off the bat, right at the start. And then a very pleasant chocolatey taste transition. And then it just quietly moves along. And that chocolate lingers as it just transitions out. I get the nuttiness. I don't know what kind of nut it is. Sometimes I can tell you. This one I can't. I get the maltiness. It's got a great mouth feel. And some of the, the better scotches that I've had that really coat your mouth and the taste lingers. I get that with this. I get that those sherry notes. Um, and actually when you popped it and poured it in your glass, I could tell to me the color of it indicated sherry mm. Mm. to me and some tastings they've started to use dark tinted glasses or colored glasses blue, so that people glasses. cannot see the color of the scotch yeah. a lot prior of judging, to tasting it. a lot of judge tastings will do that now with a touch of water sherry's mm. still there but i get a little bit of licorice black licorice hmm. that's and delicious again yeah. and i haven't had it since we tasted it but me neither Mm. Does your nose change at all with you adding the water? You pick I don't have any notes on it that it changed okay. anything. Because the taste with the water, I definitely get more mm. what you were referencing with a little bit of that nutty wood. Um, again, I still get a, what I'm calling a, a warm sherry. Just a warm sherry and it's delicious. It is very, very good. Great aftertaste and uh, it's just it gives me a little something extra. It's something else in there with those chocolate notes that I can't quite tease out. But but that plum raisin is there throughout. And I get, I mean, granted, I love drinking it, but I get a lot of pleasure just from dozing it. Because mm -hmm. I take a sip and then I just come back and smell it a few times, go back to see what else is there. And I... This is great. Yeah, I think you hit it. It's got that nuttiness in it, the sherry plum raisin, that chocolatey kind of flavor to it. And uh, very nice, very nice. I Again, the biggest surprise to me on this, because I came in blind, was I did not expect the sherry. And it's great. 
Your score? Whoa, Boba Fett almost took a hit. Wow, 91. And you and I are close. I gave it a 92. I got a 92 on there. It's really nice. So, um, a big Actually, factor of it was the surprise. Boba Fett with the Scotch Trooper. Don't yes. Care. Yeah. I know. His brethren. All right. So, what the? What the? <laughs> what the? What the? That's what I said when I saw the Yamazaki 12 on the shelf. I was walking along. I was like, what when, the? When hell? my mom showed up, I, I thought, what the? She got me the Yamazaki 18. Wow. Way to go, Mom. She's in the Kragenmore video, by the way, which she does a great job of explaining that it's uh, when she tries scotch, it slows things down with her. And mm -hmm. She's usually drinking uh, wine pretty quick and that uh, she really enjoyed drinking the, uh, the scotch whiskey. So if you haven't, please subscribe. We love your comments down below, but uh, subscription really helps us out. Uh, we've done the Yamasaki 12. Go back and check that out. We've got a Brook Lottie Port Charlotte coming Ooh. up that's on the smoky side. Mm -hmm. And Wednesdays we do America's. America's Whiskey wins. That's right, with the Whiskey Tasting yeah. Fellows. And by America's, by America's, we're including, it's like the North American. So we got Canadians in there, all the little distilleries that are coming up. We got a what? Or burping on camera. What are you thinking? We've got a Wyoming whiskey. I like to throw one of those in. I actually I muted that one a little bit. Wow, that's impressive. But uh, you were yeah, out Wyoming in whiskey. yeah, you were out in the uh, in the uh, not Yosemite. Yeah, you're in the Yosemite area. No, no, one Yosemite. It was Yellowstone. Uh, Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Have you been to Yosemite? I hear it's no. gorgeous. I want to. Yeah. Okay, you're in Yellowstone. And you stopped by Wyoming whiskey. They basically gave you full run of the joint. I made that up. <laughs> he didn't. You weren't able to link up with him. Right? No. You chatted with him, but you weren't able to link up. But you got a bottle, and uh, that's coming too. So subscribe so that you get these little. Uh, you get each of these episodes that come out Wednesdays and Saturdays. That's right. All right. Scotch it, Scotch gods. Salancha, dummies. Dummies. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, it's... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs>